Hi, my name is Evan, and in this video, I'm going to be going over Mimeo Studio. That's software that's provided with the Pro Color that allows you to create and edit interactive lessons, either on your teacher laptop or right here on the touchscreen panel. And I want to point out first that I'm running here the PC module that's built into the panel. You can also do this on your teacher laptop, but Mimeo Studio is software that's going to run on a PC. This is not going to run on the Android software that also you may have seen running on this box like Pro Color panel and some of the other videos. Mimeo Studio is meant to be run either on the PC module or from your laptop if it's connected to the display. If you're not sure if Mimeo Studio is installed on your computer already, take a look at your desktop here. If it is installed, you'll see three shortcuts that it adds right to your desktop there. Today we're going to be talking about Mimeo Studio Notebook, but it also adds Mimeo Studio Gradebook, and then this Tools application as well. Now, if you don't see those, the best thing to do is to go to your web browser and download it for yourself. You can just type into Google, download Mimeo Studio, and it'll come right up. This is the correct website here. Now, you'll be able to download it for free here. You'll need to provide your name, just some information about your job role and your location, and then you'll be able to download the software. Once it goes through the installation process, you'll have those three shortcuts available on your desktop, like we talked about. So let's go ahead and open Mimeo Studio Notebook just to get started here. So you'll be met with this blank canvas. This area here is where you're going to be building your lesson. Then, of course, you have a toolbar up at the top, some tools along the side here, and then this view pane here, if you don't see that, sometimes it's turned off by default, you can go to view, tab view. I really like that because that is showing the different pages. If I had more than one page here, you would see different ones appear along the side here. I want to call your attention to the tools here. This is actually a floating menu that you can move out of the way if you're building your content and so it doesn't actually interfere with what's on screen. And there are a lot of options in here. I'm not going to go through all of them in the scope of this video, but I am going to leave you with some resources at the end for additional training if you want to go back and see more videos about how to operate with a little more detail some of the features of Mimeo Studio. Some things I will point out really quick. This arrow tool here is going to be really useful for resizing, rotating content, moving things around on the screen. That's a very important one. As you might expect, the pen and the highlighter tool allow you to draw on top of your content so you can mark up whatever you're seeing on the board. Then there's things like inserting a text box or drawing a shape. So those are some just briefly very handy tools on there. And there is a whole range of additional tools here that I'm not going to go over just for time's sake, but I'll leave you with some further information so you can do some more training or you can just play with this toolbar um, on your own and see what those do. One that I am going to point out here that's really handy is the gallery. So if we go ahead and open the Mimeo Studio Gallery, this is really helpful for importing some ready-made materials for your lessons. That includes clip art or high-resolution photos of really many objects. Uh, I'll show you one of my favorites here, which are the animals. So if we go into Gallery, go down, you'll see a whole range of subjects here. It's all sorted nicely by category. And if we go into the animals, one of the things that's really difficult online is to find high resolution photographs that don't have a background. Often you'll have a colored background on a JPEG or something like that. That really makes it difficult to integrate into your own lessons. And that's where this comes in. Not only do you have some clip art here, but you also have some really good quality images nice and sharp with no backgrounds included. So that's really useful when it comes to planning out lessons. And I do just want to go over a few items on this toolbar here. You'll see here some open and save dialogues. Print is up there as well. You'll have undo and redo arrows, add a new page, and go forwards and backwards between pages. So of course that's all very useful for building your lesson. And when it comes time to present your lesson, this full screen option here is really useful. That's going to put your content front and center. It's going to remove all of the other formatting options on the page. You can even get rid of these tools here. And then the only thing that you and your students will be seeing is your content. 
And lastly, I want to point out that Mimeo Studio will actually allow you to open and edit lessons that you may have built in other software products. So if you go here to the open menu, you can take a look at the various file types that are supported by this program. Of course, there's Mimeo Studio Ink files, but there's also interactive whiteboard documents, uh, Microsoft Word and PowerPoint, Adobe Acrobat PDFs, and also smart notebooks or Promethean flip chart files. So lessons you've built in other software platforms most likely can be opened here with full compatibility. In fact, I have a flip chart document that I'm gonna open here that was built a while ago. And you'll see, I also have editability. It's not simply just being viewed. I can change things in this document. I can go between the pages and use this just as I would with a normal Mimeo Studio document. So things you've made in the past, you can continue to reuse, even if they weren't built right here in Mimeo Studio. Now, just to wrap up here, I did promise you some additional support materials. So if we go back to the browser, I'll go over to this tab. Mimeo.boxlight.com slash video tutorials is a site that will be very handy to you. You have all sorts of video resources here for learning more about how to operate Mimeo Studio. So go ahead and take a look at those if that's something that interests you and continue to learn about Mimeo Studio.